Hey guys, Bob Ramo here again. Uh, Shooters Gauntlet Long Range School. We're up on a Charlie range, 1,220 yards. A lot of times people ask, well, what is a minute of angle or what is a mill? Uh, and they get confused on that. Uh, I'll try and go through here real quickly and fairly basic. Um, one minute of angle is equal to roughly, it's not an exact measurement, one inch at 100 yards. So on my turret, I've got number one, two, three, four, if I'm in a minute scope, and if I dial up from zero to one, I'll shoot one inch high at 100 yards. Uh, if I have a mil scope and I dial up one milliradian, one mil is equal to 3.6 inches at 100 yards. So if I was to dial my scope up one mil, I would shoot 3.6 inches high at 100 yards. And we use the minute of angle and we use mil as a way of measuring for our elevation holds when we shoot downrange. We'll use something like a, a ballistic application or maybe a Kestrel device, something to tell us how much to hold higher in order to engage our target downrange. And minute of angle and mil, these are the two different methods that we use to measure those angles. So how can we take this information and apply it downrange? Well, I'll just put up here that one minute of angle, just for reference, equals one inch at 100 and one mil equals 3.6 inches at 100. So let's take 100 yards and put that here. Let's take 200 yards and put that there. And we'll go to 300 yards and we'll put that here. And one minute of angle is approximately one inch at 100. So I would be one inch high at 100. It doubles out of 200. So if I was to dial up one minute of angle for 200 yards, my bullet impact is going to come up two inches. If I go to 300 yards, my bullet impact is going to come up three inches. And just uh, you see the pattern. If I go to 400 yards, I dial up one minute, I'm going to come up four inches. That's basically how one minute of angle works. Milliradian works the same exact way. One mil is equal to 3.6 inches at 100 yards. It's going to be twice that at 200 yards. So it will be 7.2 inches, twice that of 100. If I go out to 300 yards and I dial up one mil, one mil at 300 yards is gonna be 10.8 inches high. And if I was to go out to 400 yards, again, it's just another 3.6. 10.8 plus 3.6 is gonna give us 14.4 inches high at 400 yards. Two different measurement methods. One is just as easy as the other, you just have to understand the concept. So one minute, one inch, all the way out, one mil, 3.6, and just work out your numbers. It's pretty easy, folks.